We're here on the bench at York Lions Stadium. I'm joined by D.A.D. Nabzi. Hi, how are you? I'm, I'm good. We uh, just kind of received news of your massive move out to, to France to Ligue des Sides Pau FC. Um, félicitations. Merci, merci. Uh, we, that's where we got to start. Uh, this is obviously an exciting move for you. So just what is kind of going through your head at, at the fact that this is happening, this is real? Yeah, I was waiting for this moment so long. Uh, from the beginning here, I was just thinking about playing good, express myself, show all the people what I can do in the field. And uh, now it's paying and I get the move and I'm happy to, to get this new challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely a new challenge. It's a very good level in, in the French second tier. Um, how much do you kind of know about you know, where you're going, the club, and, and the level that you're going to be playing at? Uh, I watch a lot of uh, Europe, European football, uh, like Ligue 2, everybody know about it. Mm -hmm. It's uh, one of the best second division in, in Europe. And uh, I'm just excited to be there. I'm not thinking about, about like, uh, how I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do over there or something. I'm just thinking about going there, do the same stuff I'm doing here, and have just enjoy the moment. Have mm -hmm this experience like a, a non joy. Yeah, um, you know, it's obviously a, a massive opportunity for you know, still a young player like yourself, right, to, to go over to Europe and you know, it's again a league that is heavily scouted by other European leagues. Um, I think like N'Golo Kante came out of that league, for instance. Um, but you know, speaking of getting opportunities in leagues, you've been here in the CPL for four years now, um, maybe three and a half. But uh, before that you were kind of Blanville and, and you know, playing futsal and stuff. So what has kind of this, this journey been like for you through the CPL, through York? For sure, without the CPL, nothing can happen like that, you know? I was doing futsal, doing semi-professional. That's the highest level I can play here before the MLS. Yeah. And then when the CPL came, they just give, they opened the door for a lot of uh, young talent, a lot of players here in Canada and it's just uh, just like something big for for Canada and this is what, what the league do we just bring people like that like me and just help him to show themselves to other biggest club and biggest country for a uh, football country yeah exactly and it's mm -hmm. obviously you know something that we didn't have before exactly. here in Canada um, but you know with York specifically you know, again, this is your, your fourth season here. I think you're the all-time leader in appearances for this team and, and minutes probably as well. Uh, what kind of memories do you have of, of your time here and what are you going to kind of take away from it? Uh, I'm, I enjoy all this moment here from the beginning, from the time when Jimmy bring me here and now uh, with Martin. And uh, I love to have this opportunity to play against Emily side like Montreal, Toronto. Uh, I never think about that before uh, when I was playing like in Summer Pro and stuff. I, I never expect that I can play against a team like that or something. And just a lot of memories here and uh, I was here from the beginning. So I'm super happy to stay here and move to Europe from here. Absolutely. You know, we'll, we'll talk about playing an MLS team again in a minute. But before we get there, uh, you know, you're one of the only guys that's been at this club since the beginning to now, right? There's been a lot of change. How have you, how has it been for you kind of seeing this club grow and evolve and change in these past few years? And are you kind of confident that they're in a good place where you're leaving them? No, no, uh, I just stick to the plan. Uh, I know that we have a good staff here. We have a good uh, uh, GM, Angus, he's a good guy. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just stay here because uh, I don't, I don't see the, the, like, uh, the matter to go to another CPL team or something. I was just thinking about staying here. Uh, I know I, uh, this, this group was super, uh, super good group and I know I can grow with them. So I just stay here and uh, do my stuff here. And when I get the chance to move, uh, I feel like it's the time for me to move. And, I, I take it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, 
this is your time to move, but it's also, th there's lots of teammates here at this club that are young as well that maybe, you know, see you getting this move and are extra motivated, right? So is it, do you feel like you want to kind of set that good example and, and maybe pave the way for some of them to get similar moves? No, for sure. Uh, like I all told them, uh, it's like, it's a good news for me, but for all the teammates and all the league, mm -hmm. uh, I think, you know, if uh, they they take the risk to, to take a Canadian player and I, I do good over there and have a good season and stuff, for sure they're going to have more eyes, more, you know, uh, risk to, you know, uh, saying, oh, let's, let's, let's risk for this, this Canadian guys, mm -hmm. you know. That's what we need, to yeah. have uh, something that, a good example and from there we can go far. Absolutely. Um, and just, just another one, just on, on yourself and, you know, what, what kind of can happen for you in France, you know, as, as we've mentioned, we've already spoken about the fact that the league is scouted, but, um, you know, there's other, there's other kind of things I'm sure that you're thinking about, you know, I'm sure there are various national teams that you're thinking about. You don't, you don't have to get too much into that if you don't want to, but I'm sure that that's something that's on your mind. No, f for the moment, uh, like I told you, I, I'm just focusing about like going there, playing my soccer and whatever happened after it happened, you know. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So just finally, you're here for two more games as we're doing this right now. Home against Pacific uh, tomorrow, I think. Yeah. Um, and then you guys go to Vancouver for that, that semi-final, which is going to be your last game with this club. Uh, how excited are you guys for that game in particular? And how much do you want to kind of finish strong and, and have two last really good performances before you leave? Yeah, for sure. Like the objective is to leave in a good knot, and uh, if we can win the the, the game tomorrow and uh, get to the finals, it's a big step for the for the club and for the the league too. Mm -hmm. And I think if I leave like that, it's, it's a, a good stuff, you know. Uh, I'm thinking about like leaving in a good stuff, a good term. Again. Didi Nabzi on his way to France after uh, two more games. Hopefully, yes, I'm sure you're hoping for two wins. Yeah, <laughs> um, absolutely. Again, uh, merci beaucoup. Merci. Thank you.